All around us, and even within us, there exists a tiny world of microorganisms invisible to the naked eye. In the 1670s, a microbiologist named Anthony van Leeuwenhoek pioneered the use of microscopes made from different lenses to observe microbes. I'm Tiffany, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own simple microscope while learning about different types of lenses. You will need a plastic bottle, a magnifying glass, a clear sheet of plastic such as from a recycled salad container, a dropper or a paintbrush, some water, specimens to observe such as leaves, small feathers, or an onion skin, a marker, and scissors. Adult supervision may be needed when using scissors. To begin, cut the water bottle in half. We will be using the bottom half. Mark two notches opposite each other somewhere near the top of the bottle. Then mark two opposite notches in between the first two notches and lower on the bottle. Cut out these notches. With your recycled sheet of plastic, cut out two rectangles which will fit within the notches. These are your microscope slides. Place your first slide into the deeper set of notches and place your specimen on top. Add your second slide in the remaining notches. With a paintbrush or a dropper, add a few drops of water onto the top slide. You can now view a magnified image of your specimen. To further magnify it, use your magnifying glass to view the specimen. As you can see, using the water drop by itself or in addition to the magnifying glass made our specimen much larger. In general, there are two types of lenses, convex and concave. Convex lenses are thicker in the center and thinner at the edges. They magnify objects, making them appear bigger. Concave lenses, on the other hand, are thinner at the center and thicker at the edges. They make objects look smaller. Microscopes generally use two convex lenses in order to magnify objects. The lens closest to the specimen is the objective lens, while the one we look through is the eyepiece. The water drop, which serves as the objective lens in this case, behaves like a convex lens, and we can see that it's thicker in the center and thinner around the edges. The magnifying glass is a convex lens as well, and serves as our eyepiece. Having two lenses increases the magnification ability of the microscope, allowing us to see a much larger image of the specimen. Other places in everyday life where we see convex and concave lenses being used are in eyeglasses and camera lenses. Convex lenses in eyeglasses help us to focus our vision better. Convex lenses in cameras control the magnification of the picture or video that's taken. In summary, we learned that 1. There are two types of lenses, convex and concave. 2. Convex lenses magnify images while concave lenses minimize images. 3. Everyday applications of lenses include eyeglasses and cameras. Thanks for watching. Try this experiment out at home and make sure to tag Pueblo Science with your results. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more fun science content. Lastly, comment down below what you would like us to cover next.